Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Amira Hall. I am a spirit medium, a channel, and a quantum energy healer. And I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest the life you love. So today, I'm just delighted, and my guides are jumping off the, off the deep end, it seems like. Oh, I look over my shoulder because that's how I sort of feel them. Um, they're excited to share this message for you for mid-month of November, and I'm really, really excited. I want to thank everybody for joining me here again and all of my loyal subscribers and followers. Thanks so much. It means so much that you're here with me and for me. And to all my new visitors, thanks for joining me here. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss an upcoming video. So, you know, when I sat down in meditation, I, I, I take some notes, a spirit comes through and gives me some insight of what they want me to speak about. And I had this very burning sense right between my eyebrows and I just kept looking and feeling and looking and feeling this energy. And it was a pulsing, soft burn. And spirit is basically telling me there's just a whole lot of activity going on in our sixth chakra that behind the eyes in the center of the forehead. Forehead. And they're telling me that there's an acceleration, there's an expansion, there's an elevating sense of this energy center. You know, the, I, I recall talking over the last several months about distorted sense of feelings, or perhaps how you've been viewing things is starting to shift and your perception. So there's still an ongoing burn of this process that is ongoing for all of us. Some of you, some of the energies are following, falling away um, and sort of like opening a crack like in an egg and you're in on the inside and you're starting to see the light on the outside of that little egg. More information is coming through. You're starting to see things, you know, quite differently. Almost when, when the sun starts rising every day, you know, at first it's a little bit foggy or distorted because it's not there's not enough light but as the sun rises and the light gets brighter we can see things so much clearer and brighter and crisper and that's kind of what my guides are saying is happening and then they showed me um an individual walking on these very high platform shoes but they're platform shoes with foam on the bottom and if any of you have used or wore platform shoes back in the 70s, I was I was one. But, you know, even if they're solid, they're a little bit wobbly to walk in, kind of like wearing seventh in, seven inch heels. Um, but, you know, my guides are saying that the way we walk, our perception of how we move through our day and what is real, like, these shoes don't look spongy, they feel spongy. So it becomes an uncertainty on where do we put our foot? Are we going to roll over? Is it are we going to collapse or or tumble? So it's like we're stepping easily, like we don't really know how we're walking. This is like new territory. We're treading lightly. We're 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 light in our step. Perhaps we're a little wobbly and we're uncertain of where we're going. Some of you are not really trusting your next step. Some of you are wobbly because this is a whole new world or a whole new expression of yourself and you don't really know how it's going to work out yet because it's so unfamiliar. So those next steps, we're, we're having an acceleration in terms of how we're growing. There's an increase in our perception, but an increase in our vibration. Um, and our growth is accelerating. So in, in, in terms of being light on our feet, um, you know, it was pretty cool. There was these spikes at the bottoms of these shoes also, but they were light, thin pins, not like track shoes or golf cleats. They were spindly needle like um, spikes at the bottom of the shoes. So again, it was a little bit of a grip, you could say, but it's also puncturing these bubbles. It's popping our sense of perception. It's um, breaking new ground and, and, and anchoring us in, in some ways lighter. In other ways, it's more certain. So it's a strange quandary it seems that we're or process that we're in and spirit was saying you know this process of integration what is going on for us 
Everybody's going to experience it different, differently, but there's a new level of harmony and balance that we're trying to achieve. And so each of us has a different sense in, in terms of the body, the mind, your emotions. There's this new sense of balance or being able to trust this perception of yourself and the perception you have of the world. It just seems like everything's going wonky outside of us. Um, I know surprises are popping up still all around us. Um, and, and some of the changes are so incredibly subtle, we can't really put our finger on them. You know, I Spirit was then explaining to me, you know, when you're in the forest, when you're in trees, you don't see the forest. And then they showed me a person standing in a room, in a room full of people. And then all of a sudden you get this waft of perfume. Now, is that a perfume or a scent that you like? Or maybe you dislike? Maybe it reminds me you of an old perfume or a scent that your father wore or your grandmother. Maybe it was something that reminded you, oh, your parents were leaving and you felt a sense of abandonment. So there's these hidden senses that are percolating, you know, unconsciously in our world. We don't know what or part of us is being triggered. So it's like that. It's so incredibly subtle that we might have to reflect on, you know, where does this, where's this coming from? Or why is it that I like that scent? Maybe it's a scent of beautiful flowers and it reminds you of feeling safe and, and comforting. So these are the, this is just a metaphor for how the changes are happening deep within ourselves, parts of ourselves being triggered in very subtle ways. There's a sense of um, not knowing where you start and where you end. And that may be intermittent. It may not be consistently all the time. But it, it, it will be stimulating you. And there's a, a growing sense of just feeling good for no reason. Just, you know, sometimes when we have that, that scent in the room, I, I know vanilla for me is a real uplifting scent. So that makes me happy for no reason. So it's like that. There's this inner transformation that's occurring on deeper levels than most of us are aware of consciously. But these are intense, intense changes that are changing our thinking, are changing our feelings, that are changing patterns and, and repeat versions of ourselves. There's a whole new level of understanding of ourselves and how we relate to the world. So in reflecting with that and shuffling the cards, my soul wisdom oracle cards, um, here's the card that I picked for us today. and. This card, you know, it says a lot about, you know, going deeper within ourselves. I get the sense that there's a whole warped sense of reality in this card. And you yourself might be noticing there's this, I feel like there's this cosmic pressure as, as these large shoes are stepping down on our back. We're being pushed into a new um, vision of ourselves. Is that a sunset or a sunrise? You know, our perception is changing. Um, being light on our feet was what my guides were talking about us earlier. Perhaps this is not a heavy weight on our back. Maybe it is just a lightness on the feet. And, you know, a shadow hidden beneath that figure that looks like a sculpture. An old version of ourself is just falling away. The shadows of ourself are perhaps coming into the light and we're getting a new, a truth of who we really are is being revealed. You know, in this card, I'm getting a sense of, you know, are you in or are you out? Are you coming in or are you going out? There's a this juicy sense of perceptions distorted here. I just get the sense that we're leaving old ways, old patterns. You see somebody holding a surfboard in the background and he's just, you know, leaving, leaving an old version of, of, of himself and, and perhaps can't even see this, this new aspect of himself developing in thin air and in suspended animation. And some of you may be feeling like that. I just love that gold 
I think that's called a tetrahedron um, that's sitting up by her forehead on the on the temple, and and to me that's again the inner temple going within. Spirit wants us to take the time to to reflect on where we want to go. What are your true goals, and what have you long suppressed within yourself that really wants to to come out and play and be revealed? We're being nudged to go a little deeper, go within, allow yourself, that inner part of yourself to be expressed and let your voice um, speak that truth that has been deeply held down. My guides are saying that, you know, we're being encouraged to be heard, to be seen, to show up in new ways, to try something different, to be lighter on our feet. And and the, and they guided me to one of the paintings that I'm going to be showing this weekend, and this is this is pretty cool actually. And as you look at this painting, the very first thing that jumps out at me is it looks like a female figure that's flying or soaring, it, or you could say it's a butterfly. But again, the butterfly of transformation and that beautiful radiant pink that's popping up above the head, I see that as a heart shape you know, illumination or expansion of that perception, your intuition. You know, it, it's it's unclear to me, is this butterfly or is this woman soaring to reaching new heights, reaching the freedom as you see this these energies radiating off her. There's a sense of growth and expansion. At the same time, these bubbles are popping and energies or patterns and maybe beliefs are popping away. And I also see this river beneath her. Is she being carried and in, in, in the flow of things? Or is she flying above what has been holding her down? You know, you can see this, it looks like debris below her. It could be uh, her reflection that's being transformed. It could be her um, her perspective as she looks down as her reflection in the water that is reversed to what she perceives herself as. Um, and when I look at the bubbles, I feel this elation, this elevated sense of self, of of I'm doing it. It's it's happening. We're in it. You know, we're rising up, and the transformation, kind of like the phoenix um, rising energy. But I just feel this this joyful transmutation that that is just showing us a new way of being and flying. You know, I've been having these recurring dreams of flying and showing off. I, I think I mentioned it in one of my last videos. And so, you know, ask yourself, what new skills, what new abilities are you discovering or are you exploring or are showing up for you? Because our newer senses, our expanded sixth sense and seventh sense, that sense of body and space and perception is changing. So um, with all of that said, this is a very exciting time. And I am looking forward to hearing what you're noticing and experiencing in your changes. I just feel a delight of what is around the corner for us as we're in this forest of expansion and growth and within the dark, there is so much light. So please um, go ahead and like this video if it resonates with you and share your comments. I just really enjoy hearing about how you're relating to this. And make sure you hit the bell so that you get the notices of my next and upcoming videos. Until next time, I'll be back. I wish you a very happy month of November. We celebrate Thanksgiving here in America. And uh, so many thanks to all of you who have been here with me sharing this time. And thank you with all my heart for all your support over the years. And make sure you check out the special that I have just until this Thanksgiving time. I think the offer expires on the 26th. I'll look forward to chatting with you real soon. And many blessings to you, filled with abundance and magic. I've been doing this kind of work for a long time in different areas. And the shifts and the clearings that have happened to me since we started this are 
they're they're miraculous. That's all I can say is these these are miraculous. I have received healing that I have needed for most of my life, and for me to be able to trust that the miracle is coming and not go into fear and doubt and anxiety, because that's what kept stopping it, kept stopping the manifestations in my life in the past. Because in the past, I would say, I trust God, I trust God, I trust God. And then if the miracle or the thing that I was expecting to happen or looking for didn't happen soon enough, then I would take over and I would take that spot and make it happen myself. And that is, that's a very tiring way to live a life. And I feel like I have calmed down to the point where I really can trust that I am manifesting my highest and best good and I can wait till the time is right Thank and you. work on myself and do whatever I have to do in the meantime while it's manifesting. That is huge. I just feel like I'm a different person. So thank you. 